Welcome back to Star Game Studios RPG UE5 tutorial series. This is one of my most anticipated videos yet. Today, we will create an enemy health progress bar and damage countdown HUD. Let's get right into it. Go to your core folder and create a new folder. Name this folder UI. This folder will contain the heads up display for the enemy's health. Right click, then user interface, and select widget blueprint. Then select user widget. Name this WB underscore enemy HUD. Open the widget blueprint. Search for canvas panel. Drag it down into the hierarchy. Find the progress bar and drag it into the graph. Set the anchor to center and zero out the X and Y. Set the size X to 500 and the size Y to 20. The alignment can be 0.5 for both. Now, go into the fill color and change it to red. Set the percent to 1 so that we can see the fill color. In the hierarchy, rename the progress bar health bar. Make sure the is variable is ticked in the details panel. Drag the text over and rename it health text. Tick the is variable to make it true. I want to add a more appropriate font to give it a more authentic Star Wars feel. Download this free Star Wars font clone called Star Jedi. The link will be in the description. Once you download and unzip it, go to your core folder and make a fonts folder. Right click and import the font. Return to your enemy HUD and change the font to the new Star Jedi. Set the size to 50. Set the anchor point to center and zero out the X and Y like before. Set the size X to 150 and size Y to 30. The alignment is 0.5 for both. Tick size to content. Change the text to say 100. That's it for the HUD for now. Go to your enemy blueprint and add a component. Search for widget and add the top one. Rename it Health Bar HUD. With it highlighted, set the class to the WB Enemy HUD we created. Open the viewport and pull the HUD over the character's head. Set the scale to 0.15 across the board. Run the game and see how it looks. Not bad, except that we can't see it behind the character. We can fix that. Go into the enemy event graph and get the event tick node. Add the set world rotation function with the health bar HUD as the target. Now, find the Get World location with the Health Bar HUD as the target. 
The return value will be the find look at rotation function. Add this as the new rotation. For the target of this rotation, we need to get the player camera manager. Next, get world location. Set the return value as the target of the rotation. Run the game. As you'll notice, you can see the enemy progress bar 360 degrees around. The player camera will always keep the HUD oriented to the face of the camera. Great! In the enemy HUD, highlight the health text and under content in the details panel, create a binding for the text. The graph for the binding will open. Now we need to create a couple of variables. The first variable will be an integer type. Name this integer current health. Name the second integer variable max health. These variables are integers, not floats, because we don't want to see the floating points on our health bar. Get a reference to the current health variable onto the return value. Compile and save. Click the Designer tab and highlight the progress bar. Create a binding for the percent. Get the current health and max health variables and change them to float. Divide the current health by the max health to get the correct percent return value. Open the event graph for the HUD. You can delete any events in the graph. Add a custom event node. Name this event Update Health. For this event, we need to add an input. Name this input current health as a type of integer. Now set the current health variable and connect it to the event. Now that we have the HUD ready, open the enemy blueprint. Create a new variable of type integer. Name this variable current health. Create a second variable and name it max health. Next, open the enemy event graph and get a reference to the health bar HUD. Find the get user widget object function node. From here, cast to WB enemy HUD. Promote to variable and rename if you like. Connect it all to an event begin play node. Drag from the blue pin and find the set current health node. Drag the enemy's current health and connect it to the set node. Again, drag from the blue pin, find the set max health node and connect the enemy's max health. Connect this to the rest of the nodes.
highlight the current health variable and make the instance editable in the details panel. Also, make the default value 100. Do the same for the max health. Compile and save. Run the game and check out the health bar on the enemy. Nice. Let's make the damage from the lightsaber decrease the enemy's health and eventually kill it. While still in the enemy blueprint, create a new function. Name this function Decrease Health. In this function, create a new input called Damage. This will be a float. Now grab the current health of the enemy and subtract the damage. Set the current health to this new value. Get a reference to the WB enemy HUD and call the update health we created in the HUD event graph. Connect it to the current health set node. We need a branch node next. This node will determine whether or not the enemy is dead. Get the current health and connect a less than or equal to node. Connect this to the condition in the branch. We need to have something to be true or false now. Highlight the decrease health function and add an output in the details panel. This output will be of type boolean. Name this is enemy dead. Grab the return node that this made and duplicate it. Connect one to true and the other one to false. In the true node, tick the is enemy dead box. We're almost there. Just a few more things to do and we will have a functioning enemy, HUD and damage system. Go back to the enemy event graph and find the damage event. In between the play sound at location and the enemy death nodes, Call the decrease health function we just made. Scroll to the event any damage node and drag off the damage pin. Connect it to the damage pin in the decrease health node. Next, we need a branch node. Connect the condition to the is enemy dead pin. From the true pin, connect to the enemy death node. Compile and save. Before we run the game, let's fix the delay in the enemy death. Change the delay duration to something like 0.1. Do the same for the delay and the damage event. Compile and save. Run the game and clobber the enemy until it dies. Awesome! One thing, however, 
is that we want to get rid of the enemy HUD when it dies. Drag from the branch true pin and find the set visibility node for the health bar HUD. That's it. Compile and save. Run the game and check it out The HUD disappears. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this valuable and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content.